Hello there, I hope you can hear me. Welcome to the beautiful and always empty beach of Phnom Nakhonsi Tamara. But I'm not here now to tell you about the beauty. It's actually not a very bright day. And this is good for the purpose of uh, my little video. Because what I'm going to talk about today is the weather microclimate we have in Phnom. Uh, now it's uh, the month of August, so we have the southwestern monsoon, which is the dominant wind, and which blows, guess where? It blows from southwest, which is somewhere there. But if you look at the clouds, you will see that the dominant wind doesn't hit the central beach of Phnom directly, kind of circles it, so it would go south or it could go north. You see that's Kosamoy at the horizon and they probably get heavy rain right now. So what happens is that the wind takes the clouds around that part of the beach or around that part of the beach or both and then they reunite somewhere at the horizon. But in the meantime, above Kanom, on this central part of uh, Kanom, which is called Nadan Beach, we get little clouds or less clouds or sometimes no clouds at all. So that's why it's possible that if you go there for a walk or a motorcycle trip, you might get soaked from heavy rain because uh, the mountain sucks the, cloud, the clouds in, the clouds get cool, and the rain starts. But as you descend from the hill, and you reach this central part of Kanon, there will probably be no rain, or it can even be sunny, so you'll have the chance to, to dry up in a few minutes. So, that's about it with the microclimate of Kanon. I hope you'll enjoy the video, but I hope you'll enjoy Kanon more than that. Thank you for watching this.